So I've been playing with the new CSS if function, which is pretty cool that we have this capability in CSS now, and this is landing in Chrome 137. So with if you can essentially use custom property values and style queries to write logical styles uh, based on custom property values. So the classic example is light and dark, but I wanted to take that a step further and really thought about how would I actually use this in a UI. If I'm building something, I'm probably using React or some other kind of library where in the DOM I'm structuring things using props. And so I wanted to do an example here where I have these different cards with data status on them. So each of these has a status, pending, complete, or inactive. So I have three different statuses. And then I'm using those data attributes to convert this data into CSS. Um, and the way that I'm doing that is using custom properties. And I'm using the new attribute um, function where I can actually cast these values using a type. So I'm setting this status custom property using adder. I'm pulling in the data status and then I'm setting that to a custom identifier type value. So now for each of these cards, we have a status custom property that is a custom identifier based on the data status that's inside of the DOM. Now that we have this status, we can actually set some styles. So I'm setting border color, background color, and grid column based on this status custom property. So first I have this if statement inside of the value for border color. So I can say if, then I'm using a style query, if the style query that's status is pending, so checking for this custom property value, set the border color to royal blue. If it is complete, set it to C green, else set it to gray. So that's the border colors. Then I'm doing the same thing for the background color. If the a status is pending, light blue background. If it's complete, light green, else light gray. Then finally, I'm setting the grid column. So here, if it is pending, put it in the first column. If it's complete, put it in the second column, um, else put it in the third column. So this used to not be accessible. Like doing something like this where I'm visually changing the DOM order used to not be accessible. And the reason why is because you have your DOM structure, right? So we have the DOM tree with all these items and now they're out of order because I can move this to inactive, for example, and it's shifted over into that last column. So now we have an imbalance with our styles, visual styles, and what the DOM is showing us. So if you're using a screen reader, it doesn't align. But now there's a new property called Reading Flow and Reading Flow just landed in Chrome today. There's an article out about it by Dai Zhang and Rachel Andrew that talks all about Reading Flow. And what this essentially does is it fixes that issue where you have a visual order mismatch with the source order of the DOM tree. So we can now correct for this in CSS. And what I'm doing there is I'm setting the Reading Flow right here to grid columns. So now a screen reader is going to read the columns of this in order, and that's the intended order that I want it to be read in, and the DOM structure doesn't matter as much. So we can do a lot of cool things with if, that's how this whole thing started, thinking about if, um, but it builds on top of modern CSS, on top of typed adder where you're casting these values, um, using reading flow, um, really thinking about things more functionally in CSS, and uh, it's just cool to kind of like start playing around and being able to build these kinds of interfaces with CSS, no JavaScript.